Hi friends, and Happy New Year. Welcome to Harmony Hills Home and Garden. I'm Jenny, and we garden here in Baltimore, Maryland, Zone 7. Today we just got back from driving home from Minnesota. It was a two-day trip covering 1,100 miles, and we're happy to be home, but oh my gosh, did we have fun while we were gone. Thank you for your patience and waiting for me to post over the holidays. Today I wanted to share with you how things are looking after we got home from being gone for 11 days. So let's take a look around and see what's happening. So while we were in Minnesota, the weather was pretty darn cold. Um, it was like the high was negative 20. Was that the high or the low? I don't know. Negative 20 was in the conversation about the weather up there. It was below zero a lot of the days that we were there. They did get some snow and it was just very, very cold. And while we were gone here in Baltimore, Washington and South um, of Washington, we got snow here too. And when we came home today, we see that um, we probably got about three inches maybe of pretty heavy wet snow, but it melted off of our sidewalks and our front walk and our driveway. So no shoveling for us, so that was nice. Um, so let's take a look at how the garden is looking in the snow. Like I said, it had already melted off of all of our hard surfaces because it was only I don't know, it was like 60 degrees, 65 degrees the day before the snow, so all the hard surfaces were pretty warm. So no shoveling required there. Um, but we do still have snow. The um, Alberta spruces are getting knocked about and torn apart and splayed open by the snow. That happens a lot. Uh, oh, you know what? Let me back up and show you the other thing that happens with this old, old, old house that we have. Up on the roof, we have a slate roof. It's original to the house, so it's coming up on 100 years old. Um, I don't know if you can see under that center window, there are little snow guards. And the purpose of those is to hold the snow up and prevent it from sliding off of the roof because it's a pretty steep pitched roof and it's slippery because it's made out of uh, slate. So, but you can see also between the windows and on the edge, we actually don't have any snow guards there anymore. Those snow guards are original as far as I know. So they're 100 year old uh, metal pieces and the ones that are in these areas, right there and right there, have broken off long ago, who knows how long ago. And so now we do get snow pummeling down onto the ground down here. We get avalanches of snow off of our roof all the time. So that is something we need to address because it's not safe, especially on this side where we have a walkway. If we get a heavy, heavy snow, this walkway gets avalanches on it all the time and it's not safe to walk there. Let's see what else. The containers are looking mm, wintry, snowy. The magnolia leaves are almost ready to be done, but they're still hanging in there and I don't mind the way they look in brown. The red berries are starting to turn as well. In fact, many of them have turned. So I might take these um, containers apart soon. I don't know, let's the snow melt and see what it looks like. The wreath and the garlands on the door still look pretty fresh though. I'm pretty happy with those. So before Christmas, I didn't have time to properly and completely clean up all the perennials in this area. And that was on my list of things to do in January, but look now we have snow. So I'm gonna have to at least wait until the snow melts and dries out a little bit before I come out here and do too much out here. Um, I still have this beauty berry here that I wanna dig up and move. And as long as the ground isn't frozen, I can still do that, but um, not for the next few days at least, because this snow needs to melt first and then the, the ground needs to be warm enough to be able to do that. It's looking pretty messy out here. I do have cleanup to do and um, I'm not gonna be able to do it right now, am I? I'm happy to say that my pots here that have the pansies in them, they're looking all right. It's nice to know that we have flowers even though we have snow. So this is working out and um, the other one over there as well. Here in the side yard, there's not much to see. This Arborvitae took the hit of heavy snow and it has splayed open as well. Um, hopefully that'll recover once the snow gets off it. I'll probably shake this off so that the branches have a chance to be lightened up a little bit. So 
So hopefully those will pull back up and not be too misshapen. Oh, you know what? Let's check on this um, hellebore that was blooming. There it is. Blooming in the snow. The pink frost hellebore. Lots of buds. This contorted hazel is so beautiful. I just love all of its twigs, but it's extra beautiful when it has snow on it. Of course, right now the snow is not on it, but um, maybe we'll be lucky enough to actually see it with snow on it this winter and be able to admire all of its little curly branches. Otherwise, the backyard is covered with some snow. We've got bunny tracks down there and, um, you know, looks nice, but uh, not much to see out here right now. One thing I'm making note of is this pathway that goes from here down that way. That is where we have some pipes that bring storm water off of the roof, under the down the downspouts, under the ground, and out down to an opening down there. And we'd lost track of where they were underground, but we can pretty clearly see their path in the snow now. So I'm just going to kind of take a video and make note of where this pathway goes because I need to um, do some running some pipes under this pathway and I think I think this will show me where to run that conduit. I think it's on the inside of the fence right up there. So here's the drains that come out. There's two pipes. They're six inch PVC pipes it looks like. They come up here and then they t turn a corner and they go up right up there. And so I think it's gonna go right inside the fence, right alongside the gate over there. And if I dig down right in here, and then right over here, I think I'm gonna find a conduit into which I can put um, some pipes for the irrigation. Okay, so there's not really much to see out here in the garden. So let's go inside and see how the house plants fared and the paper whites and amaryllis. We're still fully decked out for Christmas here because we got in the car and drove to Minnesota on December 26th, so, uh, and we just got home today on January 5th, so all of our Christmas decorations are still here, and they just make me so happy. I don't know when they're coming down, but not today. This paper white's doing pretty well. Uh, the first flower stalk is pretty well done. I think I could cut off, cut it off right there, um, but I think I would leave this so that its energy can go back down into the bulb for the future. And then over here, two gorgeous blooms currently in full bloom, looking really nice. So that's nice. I could, if I wanted to, stake it up and make it tall and thin, and then make it a centerpiece somewhere. And all of my other plants are currently in this room, the sun room. So here's my other amaryllis that was blooming before we left. And now we can see that two of the blossoms are done, and the other two, are still going strong, starting to turn around, turn over the edge, but um, still going pretty strong. So I can trim these off here and still have these two. Now this was the one that was shorter. It's only about a foot tall, whereas the other one was about a foot and a half or two feet tall. Here are some succulents that I recently purchased and they've just been sitting here. This one doesn't look too happy. So I need to do some research. If you know what I should do about this, uh, this is a, doesn't say what kind. I don't know what I don't know much about succulents at all, so I don't know what, exactly what it is. But if you can tell me why its leaves are turning yellow, I would be very happy to hear that. The soil is very dry, so maybe it needs water, or maybe I overwatered it before I left. I don't know. But this one's looking happy, and this one's looking pretty happy. It's got one brown leaf down in here, but otherwise okay. All right, and Christmas cactus. Actually, I don't know if it's Christmas cactus or Thanksgiving. I don't know which one it is, but it's beautiful. 
it is blooming. Really delicate pink blossoms. I really like this color. There are a lot of buds still to come. Some that have finished and can be pinched off. I understand that it's best to deadhead your holiday cactus so that it puts more energy into making new buds. So that's looking pretty good. And then I have here a few African violets that are recovering. They had kind of suffered over the summer, but their leaves are coming back now, so that's good to see. I used to have a third in here, but it died. I think I overwatered it. And right now, um, the top inch is dry, but only about an inch down, it's still moist. So in fact, over on this side, it's still moist right under this moss. So it's too soon to water this one. It did just fine while I was gone. All right, let's take a look at our little plant nursery over here. Here are um, my paper whites that I recently potted up. They have all started to sprout, so it's definitely time to water them. The top of the soil is pretty dry. Um, down about an inch or so is still moist, so they're not terribly dry, but I will put some more water on these. And over here, these are the ones that I'm growing for the purpose of um, cut flowers. So I'm not gonna worry about prettying up these pots. I'm gonna just let them grow up and bloom and then I'll cut them for, and put them in a vase. Now over here are the four new amaryllis that I potted up recently. This one is the clown variety. This was the one that was already budded and was leaning over really drastically. So you can see the bud has opened. It's an orangish red, more orange than red, I would say, with a lot of white markings on it. And I'm not sure what's happening with these buds over here. They're kind of mis misshapen, misformed. They may not bloom correctly this year. I don't know. This one might have a chance still. This one might have a chance still. But this one looks like it's kind of, I don't know, something wrong with that one. But I had set it so that it was leaning away from the window. Hopefully it would stand up. And it did stand up a little bit, but not all the way. So I'm gonna keep it aiming away from the window and hope that it continues to grow this direction toward the sun. These other amaryllis are doing okay. This one has some growth sprouting out of it, as does this one and this one as well. And I don't know if it has a flower stalk or if it's just going to be foliage. So we'll just have to wait and see on these. Right now this is just foliage. These three are all just foliage, but we'll see. I think actually this one is a flower bed that's gonna come up. So I don't know. Um, the aloe vera that I planted, doing pretty well. Now these are the, this was one of the ones that I had trimmed and I didn't water because I was waiting for it to callus over. And you can see, it's been about two and a half weeks since I did that, and the leaves are still very firm, plump, nothing looking like it's too dry. So um, living without water for two weeks is totally fine. And uh, now it's safe to water it though, since it should be calloused over in underneath the soil. Here are my paper whites that I planted before Christmas. And this silver container is now fully in bloom. I do see one more bud stalk coming up, but other than that, this is gorgeous. And I think we'll be moving this into another room so that we can enjoy it more fully for its intended purpose. And then here's the single that was in this jar. So this could go somewhere, like in a bathroom or something. So that's pretty. It's got two flower stalks on that one bulb. And then here's the one that was uh, four bulbs in one planter. And two of them are still small and not doing much. And the other two are in varying states. This one is um, starting to open. This one has a bud down here, and then the other two are way down there. So that's interesting, isn't it? All of these were planted at the same time. And look how different they are in their growth. And then here's the pot of a bunch of them all together. Again, this is another one that was just planted. So all of them are starting to put some growth on. They do have brown tips on them, so I think they maybe got too dry while I was gone. Is that what that means? I'm not sure. So it's doing pretty well. 
The spider plants are okay. Asparagus ferns struggling along, but doing all right. The aloe vera is doing all right. And then here's three more. These are the singles. And I'm gonna put some moss over top of these. I just haven't gotten it done yet. So these are ready for water as well. The jade plant over here, this is my husband's plant. I don't really take care of this too much, but it's doing really well as well. Probably could use a drink. It's huge. And then over here, we still have some stragglers. These are jade plant cuttings that we're bringing along. Here's a spider plant. It's got some succulent cuttings sitting alongside it. These are some cuttings that I made of the aloe plant. I'm not sure if this is gonna work or not, but I just trimmed it up into inch long pieces or two inch long pieces. And we're gonna see if they will sprout any roots. Maybe not, it's been two weeks so they, and they haven't yet. So maybe they won't, but maybe they will, you never know. And then up here, there's a spider plant it's doing all right. Down here is another spider plant. And then this is a rosemary that I had out on a courtyard garden this season and I brought it in and I forgot to water it. So I'm pretty sure it's a goner. But now look, I have a lot of dried rosemary that I can use in the kitchen. Well, friends, that's a summary of what I found when we got home from being gone for, I think, 11 days, uh, right after Christmas we left and we just got back today. So I'm happy to see that all of these bulbs and the succulents are all doing well. And um, so now it's a matter of unpacking, doing the laundry, doing some grocery shopping, you know, all the stuff that you have to do after you come home from a trip. And eventually we'll be taking down the Christmas decorations and then it'll be maybe seed starting season. So thanks for being a subscriber. If you are a subscriber, I am really grateful. We have over 3,700 people who have subscribed to this channel in just the year that I've been online. And that is amazing to me. And I'm grateful for each and every one of you. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might wanna go ahead and click that subscribe button because around here we just do things and um, I try to share with you what I'm doing in the garden, whether it's outside or in. And um, I just try to share, you know, my experiences and how I'm doing things. I'm not an expert in any category of gardening, but I love it and I've been doing it for a long time. And I hope that you'll subscribe and come along with us in the journey as this new year begins in the garden. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you again very soon. Have a wonderful day, friends, and again, Happy New Year.